Hello friends, I am Amit from Brain Mentors and today we are going to learn Java 14 features. Okay, so let's get start. What all you need in your machine to run Java 14? The first absolute need is you need Oracle JDK 14 which is released on March 2020 or either you can go for Open JDK for open source version and you need IntelliJ ID for Java 14. So what all features we are going to cover in Java 14? The first feature is text block. The second feature is better null pointer exception. The third feature is pattern matching for instance of. The fourth feature is switch expression. And the fifth feature is the records. So these are the features we are going to cover in this video. So let's move to the IntelliJ ID and create a class. And in this class, we'll first learn the text block feature. So the text block feature, it's a new kind of literal in Java 14 and it's a multi-line string literal. So let's start with a very basic example. So this is the example of the older version style of Java syntax. Now there is a new syntax which is triple code syntax. In earlier version you need to specify the slash n for the new line and you need to specify the plus operator for concat. But in the new version you have a triple quotes and through triple quotes you can create a multi-line string without specifying the slash n. You can use the escape characters like slashes for spacing and slash for printing in the same line. You can use the string literal with formatting. So there is a function called string.formatted that is introduced in Java 13 as a preview feature. And you can use the multi-line string feature that is the triple quote string with a formatted method. Now moving to the feature number two, that is better null pointer exception. In earlier version, the null pointer exception are nightmare for any developer. But from Java 14, it introduced a new way to give you better insight about the exception. So if you just specify a string name null and you just try to print it, so it will show a message which is nightmare for any developer. So you need to figure it out by debugging it. Now from Java 14 onwards, you have a flag which is which you need to set in your VM options. And this flag is show code details in exception messages. So this flag you need to set. And once you set this, it will show the descriptive messages. So here we see it is a fully descriptive messages, which is showing where this exception is occurred. And what is the reason of this? Now moving to the feature number three, that is pattern matching for instance of. This is a very useful feature. Before starting this feature, just look up the older way. The older way says you need to do the instance of check. And after the instance of check, you need to do the explicit type casting. But in the newer version, it's a very handy and it's just a shortcut version of it. It will do the instance of test as well as it will do the type casting. So both of the thing will be done in a one single line. So it's a shorthand feature and it is much better than the older version. Now in the newer way, you need to do the instance of check as well as you're doing the type casting in a one single line. Let's start with the feature number four. That is the new switch expression in Java 14. Let's first see the older style of the switch, which is inspired from the C and C++ and it needs break statement. Otherwise it fall. Another problem, if I want to write the same treatment for the different cases, it is not possible. I need to write all different cases. So let's see the older style code.
in this example the pizza burger and hamburger having the same message but i need to write different cases for this for every case i need to specify the break otherwise it start falling but in the new version of the switch case statement it allow multiple expression the same line if all the expression need the same treatment so no need to put in a different cases so i can specify the case pizza burger hamburger in a one single line Java forty allow switch expressions. So in this switch expression, you can write your switch case is like an expression. You can assign the result in some variable. So like in this example, I can specify the multiple statements: pizza, burger, and hamburger. Three cases in a one single line, and I specify this arrow sign, and I can return like I return buy get one get one free. and this would be stored in a result so it is acting as a acting as a return statement in a one single line but if you have multi line statements now you need to specify a yield operator you need to specify the yield function and yield is acting as a return type here and when you use a switch expression it is absolutely needed to specify the default so this default is mandatory when you have multiple expressions let's move to the feature number 5 that is record so it is a really cool feature so in every application we interact with the database it need to read the data from the database and it store it in an object and for object we are actually defining the dto or bean so in this example i will define a bean and this bean is an employee bean which contain the private members it contain the constructor it contain the setter getters it contain the to string it can have the equals it can have the hash code now the point is i need to write so much boiler plate code for this but in case of record it's basically a data class a special kind of class that only hold pure data so the similar stuff is inspired from the kotlin in kotlin language it is a data class so by declaring a type as a record the developer is clearly expressing their intention that the type represent only data so it does not have any boilerplate code so how to define a record to defining a record we have a record type in intellij and they introduce a record keyword so when you define a record so you need to just specify a record and you need to specify the parameter of the record and then your record classes get created now you can create a calling class and there from there you can call a, a record like you are calling a class So you need to specify the parameters there, and when you try to print your object, it internally call to string, and the to string is implicitly there. There is no need to define it explicitly. So if you check what is record, once you compile it, so I just go to the out folder, and inside the out folder, I just open a customer, and the record is converted into class. and it has all the things which we put inside the dto it means it has a member variables it has a constructor it has a to string hash code equals all the stuff it has so internally it will be converted into the boilerplate code you can even define the static members and you can define the static methods as well as to return the static members
you can call the static members by specifying the name of your record class and then the static members so it is same like a class you can have the default constructor you can define the default constructor here You can have the parameter as constructor. The parameter as constructor is same as the record parameter. It is mandatory. you can have the customer constructor. So in the custom constructor, you can call the parameters constructor because parameter constructor is by default there. So you have three kind of constructor, compact constructor you can define. You can define the parameterized that is a canonical, the compact is the default one, canonical is the parameterized one and the customized is based on your parameters. And in customized constructor, you can call the parameters constructor. So folks, this is all about the Java 14 features.